Welcome to Ottawa. You know, it's a bit of a tradition on this show that at the top of every season, I place a call to the Prime Minister's office and ask for five minutes of his time. And traditionally, they say no. But then, as luck would have it, something really bad happens to the Liberals and their polling numbers go pfft, right down in the toilet. And suddenly, the gates to 24 Sussex Drive swing open. So, here we are, and God love Gomery. I'm just waiting now, just waiting for the PM. Should arrive any moment. Odd spot for an Inuit sculpture, really. I'm wondering if it's covering a spot in the carpet. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh my. Listen to that. Hello, Prime Minister. Rick Mercer. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Um, today, as we watch this, you have just gone through your first opposition day in the House of Commons in a while. Either two things have happened, either you have survived, or it's a day where it sucks to be you and the government has fallen. <laughs> Which curtain would you rather look behind? Oh, we want to govern. Look, we've got a strong economy. We want that to continue. We've got a lot of measures to make sure it happens. We want to govern. So you're saying curtain number one? Well. Let's find out what happens. Okay. How about you give me a tour? Shall, Shall we get the light. tour? You go here? Now, I noticed we can't seem to get out through the back here. What? <laughs> Why is that? Well, this is... gets a little drafty here in the wintertime. Okay. Okay. Um, we, we have to fix this right now. And we're looking for uh, the super plastic that you put over the windows and you put it on with a hair dryer. You sound like you really know what you're talking about. Oh, I've done this before. Well, because if you live in St. John's, all the houses are so old that it doesn't matter what, you know, type of house you live in. You, you have plastic up to your windows. Now, are you a fan of Canadian Tire? I love hardware stores. What's your favorite section? Oh, probably, probably the, the equipment, you know, the, 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 the power tools and all that kind of stuff. Do you like the um, Canadian Tire commercials? Um, some of them. Hey, Paul, what's that? Rick, this is a Black & Decker ceramic heater. Good for the cottage, good for the boat. Don't ask me how it works. Don't stop with me. Eventually, we'll bump into someone who'll tell us where the, uh, the, the super plastic is. Let's talk about your relationship with Jack Layton. What's that like? Have you had a beer with the guy or a cup of coffee? Had a cup of coffee. You had a cup of coffee with the guy. Uh, is he bugging you? How late can he call the house? How late will you take a call from Jack Layton? Uh, well, he's never tried very late, so we've never found out. Stephen Harper. Yeah. When he wore that cowboy outfit. Was that a good day for Paul Merritt? <laughs> when you opened up the paper and saw that? Well, what do you think? I thought he looked like he was getting ready to go to Scott Bryson's wedding. I mean, that was... What is a man thinking when he does that? The famous photo of you, like, looking kind of excited. Yeah. Was that an unfair photo? Oh, look, there's... No, I just laughed. You just laugh that stuff off. Yeah. Okay. What else can you do? Yeah. Weep. <laughs> it goes on with a hair dryer. You gonna show me how? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll show you. Don't spend it all in one place. This is because I gotta carry everything. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about softwood for a second. I gotta tell you, Canada standing up and saying, to the United States, we're not going to be pushed around. I think that's important. Yeah, so if you go to Argentina and you stand up and make a speech about how wonderful free trade is, don't you find that ironic that George Bush is sitting there like... Yeah, because at the same time that I made that and speech... And he's boning us. Yeah, no, no, at the same time I made that speech, I said, and if free trade's going to work, people have got to honor their agreements. And nobody was under any doubt about what I was talking about. Well, here's a question. You're never supposed to ask prime ministers questions like this, so I figure, hey, what the hell, right? We're out shopping in Canadian Tire. Say, God forbid, we go off the road into the river or we get hit by a truck tomorrow. Name three or four people who would make good prime ministers. Don't say all of them. Three or four people, good Look, prime ministers. I just want to know, when we've gone into the water, Yes. you're saying I've drowned. Both of us are gone. Rick Mercer too? Absolutely. Well, there goes my logical successor. <laughs> name you four, name four I'm people. I'm going to tell you something. You're not getting out of this. No. Name four people who would you're make a good prime minister. You and I should not be allowed to go on a bridge across a body of water together. We'd be like the royals. Come on now. This is, this is beyond belief. I'm, Otherwise, we're going to see how long you can not answer this question. Oh, we're going to see how long you can ask it. Yeah. 
Nice hair dryer. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. Look at this, tight as a drum. Oh my God. For whoever ends up living here.